Incoming! Good morning. Welcome to DDO Wiki Talk. I will be with you in just a moment. I'm currently setting up the hosting. I don't know why, but for some reason today, my exploit's going a little wonky. So, I'll be modifying that in just a moment. Alright, so there's all our hosting. Bring up the wiki. Good morning and welcome. I'm going to minimize XSplit because it's going a little wonky with the resizing. Driving me nutty. Feel free to join me in the chat. Um, no, not the shoe store. Um, DDO stream. There you go. There's the DDO stream channel. We also have a DDO wiki channel. You can check out. you want to chat with me in voice chat there's the link for that and if you want to do text chatting about DD wiki stuff there's the link for that how is everybody today hope everybody's having a good day we're gonna pop on over to the recent changes page See what's happened in the last week. Last week's stuff. Let's see here. Waiting for the um, morning coffee to finish brewing. Oh yeah, let me unmute myself in Discord, so if anybody wants to talk, they can do that. Oh, I'm already unmuted. I'm muted. Live stream channel. Alrighty. Hey, a couple of follows, probably delayed reactions. Yeah. 
There we go. So let's have a look here. Potions by price by location with prices. Some talk there. I like to look at the talk. Made some changes to the donate template, the shroud. User DDO Vault is a new template user box for those um, DDO Wiki users that also contribute to the vault. Um, any shot. Actually, I should add that to Technical 13's talk. Um, Technical 13's page, if I can. I don't think I can. It's probably protected. It's protected. I'll also do that through my own account. That's okay. So many shot. What else do we have? Template talk quest. Optional XP. 13 eclipse. Some talk there. Asimar, Scourge of the Undead, was released on Lamania last week. Or the week before, but last week I played with it some more. Mist of Ravenloft, pre-order information. Oh, let's see here. Tem talk quest by levels, quest with epic versions. Let's take a look at that. Quest by level, some more stuff there. Level 14 quests. Spell resistance, some talk there. A crucible, some talk there. War soul enhancements it has got the new edit flag. However, because it was a special duplicator revision, there's no way to patrol it. So it's just going to sit like that until it falls off the bottom of the sheet. Probably next week or the week after. Uh, let's see here. And that's pretty much it. There's been some changes, some edits to some pages and whatnot. Um. So, potions by location with prices. Trying to hunt up greater and superior FSC potions if they are sold by a, a vendor. They might be gated by Jurasco favorite and possibly class. Read the DDO forums, specific posts. That means many of the edits I've made to vendors might be invalid just because I made the edits based on things I could see for sale. Thanks for the link though. I can kick loose some additional points when I improve my house K faction. I'm not sure I want to bother with J. So we'll make a little note. So, being favor-gated doesn't make the edits invalid, they just need to be embellished with some kind of indication that they are favor-gated. I should work up some padlock icons for each house so that we can indicate such things quickly and graphically.
hope everybody is having a wonderful Tuesday morning. So we have this template for DDO Vault. Basically just says user, username contributes to the DDO Vault. If you want to link to your vault profile, you can. Put your your URL, your 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 vault URL, and your your vault handle, and I'll just add as name. And if you have a URL, it'll link the name. So, for example. Don't have it in here yet. Okay, but I'll be adding it later. I'll show an example next week. So the DDO Vault page, it's simply what the DDO Vault is. It's not a whole bunch of catchphrases and whatnot. I've, I've gone back and forth with an IP address a little bit in the last week about catchphrases. Catchphrases aren't appropriate for a wiki page. Just a description of what the vault is and a link to it as an external link. Talk mini shot shuriken. So this says mini shot doesn't work with thrown weapons, but I've been told it works with shuriken. Can anyone confirm or deny? So there's a, a chat. I've never. I don't use shuriken, so. I won't be able to answer that. Optional XP. So I worked on it last week. So he asked, do we really need heroic and epic? I mean, are there any classes where percentage is different? That is a great question. I don't know if there's any any places where the percentage is different. However, I was formatting it as it was requested, which was... on the template itself, but we can work on that. So I'll comment on that. Comment on that. It'll take some time to do that. Thank you for the host, Danny Phantom 366.
could add some logic later that will compare the two percentages, and if they're equal, eliminate the redundant text. It'll take a bit of work, so probably not on Wikitalk this week. Fix the indentation. Excellent. Step six. Step even belong on the page. Receiving a small ingredient bag from Favor has nothing to do with flagging the story arc. Oop, sounds like coffee just finished brewing. But yes, it is important to the series. is isn't just about receiving the bag, it's about receiving the favor rank, which is required to progress the story favor arc, the flagging story arc. There we go, so that's answered there. <clears throat> Quest by level. Oh yeah, coffee. Quest with epic versions. Let's get the coffee and then we will look at that. Wash out my coffee cup real quick. Last time I used it, I had to use the non-dairy creamer crap, and that always leaves residue in the bottom. Somebody had used up all the milk. Somebody's been eating my cookie crisp. And pour the coffee, and pour some milk.
Why a chat this morning? All right, so 2015, then it was dropped for a couple years, and on Sunday, MA said, I agree that with the sentiments of Silver Fair. I feel that quest by level listing that a quest should be listed in every base level that it has a version of to list omitting a quest from a higher level list just because it also has a lower level version makes for an inaccurate and incomplete list imagine the compendium seems like a very poor reason to present incomplete or inaccurate information on the wiki if Matching the game were any kind of excuse for delivering bad information, which it's not, then there would be no calling out of bugs on the wiki. Should we go through the wiki and eliminate all re references to bugs so that the wiki is more closely presents the same information that the game presents, no matter how false that information might be? Somebody sounds salty. I hope that the answer is obviously not. So, morning, Todd. Crew removed those from. Removed Epic from Hawks and Shroud. Ew, I have to check on that. Because I tried doing that. And it actually broke a whole ton, ton bunch of stuff. That breaks stuff. So is that the pre-order for Ravenloft? The compendium. Looks real to me. Kind of broken a few things here. The issue is with Hawks. I don't know how I feel about that right now. I'll have to go do it and do some digging. 
I remember that doing removing the epic stuff from the heroic the indication broke some stuff because the templates technically didn't allow them to do that. It was a band-aid leaving it in there in order to prevent something else from breaking. So level 14 quests. Try adding this section to remove all the necro four. Takes me to a page that says tells takes me to a page that tells me that the page I'm trying to edit has been deleted. This is a nice category list page. It means the page is automatically created based on what is in the category, level 14 quest. I would remove those pages from the category at this time. I believe it was tried before and broke a ton of other stuff, such as various DPL queries and other NCL lists. Once some of the back end work is done, this will be converted to DPL, I believe, and it will resolve itself. Talked about that already. Spell resistance. <clears throat> Spell resistance page has a lot of archaic references to the way spell resistance used to work. It needs to be updated. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to say is first subst Unsigned by date First, I'm going to mark it as unsigned. Nope. Um, not while I'm doing wiki talk. First, unsigned. And then. I'm actually going to post on their talk page. Contributions, deleted contributions, user rights. Why are we missing talk page link, email link, that kind of stuff? I'll have to work on the unsigned template sometime. Apparently it's missing some stuff. Doo -doo, where's history right here? History... So we'll go here. Actually, won't. We'll go. 
user contributions. Copy link address. I can't spell. Disclaimer. Good thing I have spell check. I don't remember how that renders, so I gotta take a look at how that renders. <clears throat> uh... Alright, why is my system getting so laggy? Bring up Task Manager. Ow, oh, the bots are crashing again for some reason. All right, I can take care of that. Just a second on the screen. EM2, kill, 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 kill. Let's crash out all the bots and restart them for Discord.
This is a good opportunity to get some coffee real quick. I'm going to keep having little black boxes pop up in my screen. Go preview. There we go. List of administrators. Count equals true. List of 13 administrators. This is what happens when the bot crashes. I have to deal with this blinking for a little bit. Alrighty. There, excellent. Let's see if I can force it to close a little bit quicker. It's getting there. It's only got some nodes left, so three more nodes. There. I believe that that is all of them. That says that it's back up, so let's go restart the bots. In a minute, the bots will come back up. I've got to move those bots to an independent machine. I just haven't had time to do it yet. All right, so thank you for your comment. And the spell resistance needs to change to be reorganized section of the SR talk page. It'd be great if you go through and make the updates there to make updates there to more accurately, re accurately represent the current state of SR. The DOAK is a limited pool of editors doing vast number of editing tasks and it might be quite some time before somebody has time and interest in updating the section. You seem to already have the interest. You just need to find the time. Don't worry about breaking things as nothing is ever permanently broken. If you break something, just stop what you're doing and get in touch with any of our list of 13 administrators on their talk page via email or most quickly on our Discord chat server. Thanks and happy editing. Wonderful. Next section, SR. Ah, just some trims to that, okay. The Crucible, not mentioned in notes. The water switch only turns off the fan at the end of the water passage. Oh, goody. So. The runes above the test of cunning don't reset when the lever is pulled. There's a lever inside the final door of the test of agility, which seems to open the door. Thanks for your notes, Dom. Please feel free to add them to the article 
So. Happy editing. Alright, let's see here. Don't care about that. 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 Care about that. That. LinkedIn, don't care about that. Character planner, new notes. They have been welcomed? They have, good. And I believe this is the pre order. Hey, Steelmaster, thank you for the host this morning. Mist of Ravenloft. Ultimate fan bundle. Collector's Edition, Standard Edition. Hey, go figure. They exactly mirror the um, the Mordor expansion set. Scheduled for release on December 5th, 2017. No later than January 5th, 2018. Hey, new follow. Good morning, Iron Hands. Unifex, thank you for the follow. So, I'll have to um, zoom out and take some screenshots of this for Cobalt Scribe. The Ravenloft command, like I did for the Mordor command. So, let's see here. What am I doing? Mist of Ravenloft. Ah. Actually, let me go like this. New tab, DDO Wiki. Let's take a look at the Mist of Ravenloft section of the page. Mist of Ravenloft. Let's see what's on the page there. I actually haven't looked at the page yet. Looks like I need to... is actually Lamania now. Green date of January 5th, 2018. Asimar, Scourge of the Undead. Where does that go? It's actually SMR Scourge. I need to fix that.
get rid of the, the gaps breaking up the lists. Available bundles. See, these are backwards. To reorder those. It should mirror what is on the store page. Store page always lists the most expensive bundle first. quick ultimate collector standard mist of ravenloft change asimar race to the front Character. We don't have character slot page. Character slot, let's take a look for that. It's probably a capital S or something. If not, we're gonna create it. Bots acting up again. Yes, already? Really? <sighs> really? Frustrating.
cleaned up. All right? Oh, one more node. Oh no, not that again. What was the program? Try it again. That's the one that got hung up. There, that's that. That's all cleaned out. I'm gonna leave the bots. Mm, I gotta restart some of the bots. Let me restart some of the bots real quick. Um, Football worker. Bastard. Lotro bot. Signal bot. M2 LS, which bots do I have going? Lotro bot is stopped. Why? Bot. Everybody I care about right now. I suppose I can get Gunther, he doesn't do anything. So, M2 LS, let's try that again. Lotro bot has a bug. M2 stop two. Okay, so in lotrobot.js. Oh, okay. Line 217. Let me fix that real quick. Lotrobot.js. Line 217. Ah. Had an unescaped quote, single quote. Okay. There we go. PM2 LS. Apparently, we don't have a character slot. So let's do count comparison. Count comparisons. Here. You get five slots, I believe, as a premium. And ten slots. As a VIP.
Oh, you get 11 slots as a VIP now. There we go, we now have a character slot page with just a basic something on there. Okay, so. Asimar Scourge. This is TOC, we're going to work on that one. So there was no starter gear for the page for that. Let's see what links to the old Asimar Scourge page, or Scourge of the Undead page. Okay, so nothing important. That won't be fixed by editing the TOC.
Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, sixty-five percent. I should go on top. Sixty-five percent. There we go. Actually, I don't need to have Lamania in there twice. Let's get rid of that. There. That looks right. Mix that up. That's fixed up. Gonna have to resize those a little bit. And that's gonna look horrible on a narrower screen like what I use usually. Might be time to break that into three rows. Consider that once I once it goes live. And I have to redo it anyway. Alright, so. that look like <laughs> doesn't apply it still middle That section also needs it.
Adding left four px. One EM. Put on each row, see what happens. Of course, it does nothing to that one. All right, let's try this instead. Padding. Point eight. Heading left, 12 px. But it needs to be on a per Per cell thing, I can't make it on the row. But on every cell. Can't put padding on the table. I have to put it on every cell. What a pain that is. Or I could add it to wiki table. Wiki table TRTD. Oh, it has to be on every cell. Alright, so I am going to actually add it to every cell through the wiki table itself.
find wiki table. Not in here at all. Okay. Okay. Done with that. There we go. That looks right. Sentient weapons, huh? I believe that does uh, Astral Shards 140, doesn't it? 140 Astral Shards, yes. Linked and ready to go. Come on.
Alrighty. Hey Titan, how's it going this morning? Get rid of the those there because I'm going to link them further down here as the outfits themselves. Shared storage upgrade shouldn't be that way, but I can get rid of those links up there. Let's do that before I forget. Black Cat and Raven shouldn't be linked there. Resurrection cakes. I know we have a shared storage upgrade page. Video store premium. Shared storage. Don't have a shared storage page yet? Shared banks isn't linked yet. Thought it was for some reason. Wait, 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 what's that? Shared bank storage, so it is linked. It's just somebody changed the name. What does that link go to? Shared bank storage, right? I'm going to call it Shared Bank Storage. Scroll to the top, it should be the redirect from that page. Edit. Copy. That's all set. Let's find Supreme Resurrection Cake. Where does Supreme Spirit Cake go? Supreme Sibri Spirit Cake. Make that a redirect to Spirit Cake section Supreme. All right, so that's set. That's set. The only thing we're missing are these outfits, which will exist when they exist. Surprised you're not in Discord, Titan. Alright, so... Third expansion scheduled for December 5th, rain date January 5th, 2018. Asimar Race, Asimar Scourge, Iconic Race, Bastamini Knife Fighter, 
new level 10 veteran status, permanent gold seal hireling scarecrow, Barvaria wilderness adventure area, level 10 and 30 plus content including two raids, sentient weapons, cosmetics, available bundles, ultimate collectors, standard, delivered at launch, Delivered separately, one per account. See also in development Ravenloft update 37 release notes. Excellent. So those are the only things we don't have yet because I don't know what they look like. If I refresh this page, the red, red link should be blue. My Supreme Resurrection Cake not loading right. Why did that come up? No, I don't want you. I didn't ask for you. Well, that's weird. I don't know why that's happening. Did I make it at the wrong page? Dream Resurrection Cake. Dream Resurrection Cake. Item. Oh, maybe that was the issue. Yes, that's the issue. Okay. So I'll go here. Move. Item. I'm okay with you leaving a redirect. It'll be a double redirect, but whatever. There we go, resurrection cakes, good. Wait, why isn't that space properly? Go back here real quick. They don't have the language links up here like they did on Lotro. So let me go I don't expect there'll be any differences on the GB page if it exists there isn't How about on the FR page Oh, even the even the various languages are still all in English. Even if I went to DE German, it wouldn't show up. I wonder if that's something they're planning on adding later or not. Alrighty. Those are dynamic prices because of because they will flex with exchange rates.
Time for some new coffee, isn't it? So it's buried in a tea body. I'll need to fix that here. Shu, are you looking forward to Ravenloft? I know some players are pissed off by the price. Um, Lotro players were as well, because they had exactly the same pricing scheme for Mordor. However, um, I kind of expected it to be that price based on the, the Lotro. Um, Hundred and thirty is kind of a steep price for expansion. But it's not just the expansion. The expansion itself is is, is forty dollars. And it includes the Asimar race, which is a one-up from the, the Lotro side, where the standard package did not include the High Elf. Um, so let's compare. Let's do some comparison real quick. Okay. Let me get the Mordor link real quick. Or is it opening it? All right, let's do it this way instead then. So let's have a quick comparison here. So for the standard edition of Ravenloft, we'll get the expansion, the Asima race, and a survivor's package with 20 astral shards and a, and a res cake. For the standard edition of Mordor, 
they got the expansion and an area of the Valar, which is basically an XP stone. Their XP system works differently, so... Nope. Looks like DDO dropped on me. I got disconnected. That's what's been happening. All right. Anyway, we'll just lose music. We'll look at that in a second, Iron Hands. Just gotta wait for my system to catch up. While I'm doing that, it is 9.30. Let's get a fresh cup of coffee. All right, so system's still lagging. Come on now, what's crashing? My entire, some reason, the bots just cannot run when I'm streaming. So be it. Crash it all. Alright. Looks like I'm having an issue. Hey, hell rogue. Looks like I'm having an issue on the DDO stream chat side. But my personal channel chat is working. I gotta get these spots moved. All right, let me shrink this for a second and do something. All right, I think things are starting to come back. Having an Alaskan brewing heritage coffee brown that does, does that count? Sure, sounds good to me. So let's try this. The only bot that I want to have running will be Locho bot. 
and signal. Football worker. That's three. Three only. Found the right one. Excellent. Okay, so let's get signal back up. Get Lotrobot back up. Gold ball worker. Just those three. Good. Run with that and see what happens. All right, let's get the stream back up. Okay, so for collector's edition, GDO gets <clears throat> expansion, race and character slot, 50 astral shards, two resurrection cakes, an ethereal rest shrine, universal tree, Vistani knife fighter, scarecrow hireling, Cosmetics for the Aristocats, outfit and hat, you get the Black Cat, and 30 days of VIP. What does Lotro get? Mordor, an XP stone. You finally get the race, High Elf Race. You didn't get that in the Standard Edition. Character slot, a few cosmetics, a title, and a mount. Now for the Ultimate Bundle... They get everything in the previous one. You get another mount. You get two titles. More cosmetics. XP accelerators. Housing teleport. Relics. Reclamation scrolls. Just the normal consumables. Shared storage slots. And a month of VIP. So you don't get any VIP for the, the collectors, but you, you do get 30 days worth for Ultimate. In DDO, you get all the previous stuff. You get more cosmetics, same there. An extra pet, same there. You get 60 days of VIP as opposed to 30. You get twice as much VIP out of it. You get an iconic hero. You get shared storage upgrade, just like they got. Weapon aura, just like they got, basically. An enhancement point tome for every character, just like they got the XP boost for every character. And a teleport to Bar Baravaria, just like they got the teleport. So we're actually getting more stuff for the same amount of money as the Lord of the Rings side Lotro people. Or we're getting the, 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 the pieces sooner. Now, let's compare to um, Shadowfell. Can I bring it up that way? No. Let's see if I can find Shadowfell. That's not what I want. Where's the DDO market?
Well, I don't know where the DDO market is, so going to the store just takes you to Lotro. So let's do this. DDO market. We'll get there. We'll take the roundabout way. All right, so let's take a look at Shadowfell. Expansion packs. So the only ones available right now are the standard and the collectors for Shadowfell. Standard was $30, $10 less. We'll take a look at what you get for that. The collectors was $50, which is $20 less. We'll take a look at what you get for that. So for the standard edition of Shadowfell, you've got you got the expansion pack, you got the iconic knight, a character slot, a lesser tome of epic learning, some DDO points. That was it. Okay. So you're getting a race instead. You're getting some random stuff and the expansion. It's about on par. I mean, you got a iconic hero as opposed to a race. You got a character slot, which they're not giving for standard. Eh, whatever. A couple tomes and some DDO points, which are about the same as a survivor's pack with astral shards and a resurrection cake. Can't be exactly the same for every one of them. So. Now you could do the upgrade. But, whatever. Collector's Edition, you get the expansion, iconic heroes, character slots, greater Tome of Epic Learning, and some DDO points. Expansion, character slot, race, a better package with more shards equal to more DDO points, more Resurrection Cake, Reshrine, you get a Universal Tree, you get a Hireling, Permanent Hireling, you get a Cosmetic Pet, and you get VIP. You didn't get VIP here. Oh yeah. Legendary Upgrade is the equivalent of the Ultimate Edition, so you can add an Owl Bear. Although you get two cosmetic pets and two hirelings for the, the legendary ultimate edition here. You can get a cosmetic kit and a single pet and some tomes and cosmetic hat and some XP elixirs, but I mean it's really You're still getting more for this expansion than you were for Shadowfell overall. I mean, two months of VIP, you get everything in the game for two months, basically. I mean, there's a couple things you don't get, but the only things you won't get for the VIP will be the two previous expansion packs. Anyway. I think the pricing is about on par. I mean, they could modify it a little bit, but eh, whatever. Personally, if I can afford it, I am going to get the Ultimate Pack. Even though most of the stuff in there is stuff that I get as VIP, because I believe you get the Asimo Racing and, and Vistani Knife Fighter if you're VIP anyway. Those are the two things that I really care about. And then the expansion. This stuff, I don't care about right here. This is meh. The level 10 hireling will be pretty cool. Uh, no, you don't. So, Asimar Race. This new heroic Everon Race is free to VIPs.
you want the SMR Scourge, however, you, you, you have to get that with the expansion or in the DDO store later. I'll probably get it in the DDO store later because I won't be able to afford the expansion pack right away. I'm actually hoping that I can get the expansion pack in the DDO store. And then it will be just fluff to get the character slot, I guess. So, recent changes. We've got 10 minutes left of the stream. Let's take a look here. Abolish removed a couple things. Tink. You sure about VIP getting heroic Asimar and Vistani? I am sure about them getting heroic Asimar. I'm not sure about Vistani. I had all three on Lamania as VIP, so I don't know how that was set up. If not, it will be... It'll be something that you can farm out. It says that it is not free for VIP players, but you can get it by doing the, the content anyway, so it's not a big deal. It will be available for purchase for 495. And actually, I need to edit that. Because it's, it's redundant. This blurb is redundant. It's not 495 TP. Are we getting Night Revels later today? I have no idea, Titan. Like Harper Tree with PDK favor? Um, Harper Tree is with Harper favor. This is still a mania thing. Is the pre-order for Raven? Yes. Okay. Nope, I got one mini on there twice. How'd that happen? Ah, okay. Doesn't belong up there.
Copy edit. CE is copy edit. edit. Hey, thank you for the follow. I believe that puts us um, over, puts me over 300 followers. That's excellent. Awesome stuff. Actually, we've got five minutes left. Before we end the stream, I want to do one more thing. Hey, Quiet Banter, thank you for the follow. Twitch being twitchy. All right, so we're going to edit the table here. I'm going to change this to 37. I don't have update 37 yet, so we're going to have to create that real quick. Before we submit this, apparently um, XSplit has a little bit of an issue going on. Update 37. Let's copy the update 36 one. Page history. We'll take it from here. Copy, paste, mist of Ravenloft, update number 37. Twelve five comment that out. Beat this, this update thirty seven, thirty seven release notes. Mania true details Twelve. 
Show Preview. U37 Lamania Preview. Mr. Ravenloft. We'll start with this. Save this. There we go. Lanania preview for update 37 is now on the home page. We go all the way back to update one. It's awesome. Still never did get some get any images for that. Should get the dreaming dark icon. Update three didn't have a name. But they didn't get names until I guess it's just based on the pack. Duel for the Underdark? Yeah. So. Didn't get names until against the Slave Lords. So, update 31, Gnome Work, the Codex War. I guess some of them have and some of them haven't. But there it is on the homepage. And that wraps up the amount of time that we have for today. Homepage, recent changes. So I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Oh. How did you get this leak? I'm not seeing this in the main DDO page. There we go. What week? It's on the turbine page that I linked earlier. There you go. The, div the Digital River DDO SSG page. Not what I want. All right, let's see here.
Um, DDO Unlimited here too as well. It was posted on the weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream last week apparently. Anyway, it's out there. So. And let me check my schedule. Next week, it looks like I will be here as well. I believe next week will be episode 30 or 81. which is um, four more hours. Alrighty, let's put up the splash screen and you all have a great week.